Republic Day speech. India is a self-governing country since 15th August 1947. India got independence from British rule on 15th August in 1947, which we celebrate as Independence Day. However, since 1950, on 26th January, we celebrate Republic Day. The Constitution of India has come into force on 26th January 1950. so we celebrate this day as republic day every year in this year 2023 we are celebrating the 74th republic day of india india is a democratic country which has no king no queen to rule here although the people here are the rulers here every citizen living in this country has equal rights no one can become chief minister or prime minister without our vote we have the right to choose our best prime minister or any other leader to lead the country in the right direction our leader should have enough skill to think in favor of our country he should think equal about all the states village and cities of the country so that India can become a well developed country without any discrimination of race religion poor rich upper class middle class lower class illiteracy etc the great leaders of freedom fighters of our country are mahatma gandhi bhagat singh chandrasekhar azad lala lajpat rai sardar vallabh bhai patel lal bahadur shastri etc to make india a free country these people fought con- continuously against the british so we can never forget their dedication to our country we should salute them on such great occasion by remembering them it is only because of these peoples that we can think with our minds and live freely in the nation without any pressure our first indian president was dr rajendra prasad who said that justice of one constitution and one union we have got together the entire part of this vast land which is the population of more than 320 crores men and women living here take responsibilities of welfare what a same if is it to say that we are still fighting crime corruption and violence in our country again everyone needs to be together to save the country from such slavery as it is holding back our country from going into the mainstream of development and progress we should go ahead be aware of our social issues like poverty unemployment illiteracy global warming inequality etc to solve them dr abdul karam has said that if a country becomes corruption free and becomes a nation of a beautiful mind i strongly feel that there are three prime members who can make a difference he is father mother and a guru as a citizen of india we should think about it seriously and make all possible efforts to take forward our country now i'm going to conclude my speech thank you all of you for being here jai hind jai bharat happy republic day thank you